You don't sound so enthusiastic. Are you ready to get the show started, people? Thank you, Jesus H. Christ. All right, uh, your first comic of the night. Uh, one of the hardest working comics in this town. Josh McLean, everybody. Good evening, everybody. How are we tonight? Oh, oh come on, you're out for a reason. How are we, guys? There's a whole bunch of beautiful women at this table. Guys, you gotta be making a little more noise than this. How are you tonight? Wow. That looks more like a fucking Valtrex kind of table. All right. Hey, I know what it is. That's what makes it fucking sad. All right, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Josh McLean. But tonight, you can call me Indiana because I'm kind of nice and full of hate. Okay, that's where I'm gonna get the rest of this bit going to. All right then, one laugh, it's like I'm at Thanksgiving dinner all fucking over again. All right, Cousin Susan, you're a liberal. So Arkansas just passed a similar religious freedom bill. Now you can take it for what it is, don't really give a shit. But it's fucked up enough. Hey, hey, ma'am. High and shrilly. Like a raccoon digging through the trash. It's crazy. No offense, you're way prettier than that. Anyway, Arkansas has its own bill. The exact same fucking thing. Kind of messed up. But no matter what you believe in the bill, if, if, whether you're behind it or not, it is so messed up that Walmart doesn't like it. Walmart! What? The evil big corporation is fucking against this. That's like Mr. Burns going, ah, you know what? I like money, but... Two dudes fucking is okay by me. How fucked up is that? I guess we could thank Smithers for that. I knew that table would like the Simpsons reference. I've got a Simpsons tattoo, so I'm not making fun of you. I wrote it for you. So, it's a... Uh, so, I want you to shut up, please. I guess I have to have sex with her so she'll never talk to me again. So Memphis is hosting something interesting this week. It is hosting the 2015 Atheist Convention. Woo! You know, I know what you're all thinking. Josh, you're about as liberal as Lenin. You gotta be all for this. And let me tell you, people. Hold on, I wrote this. I'll spend an hour on this line. Give me one second. The only thing then worse than morons for Christ is assholes for no God. Jesus fucking Christ. That was supposed to be a funny play on words. My wife got it, she had to hear it three times. About the only thing I can do three times. That was nice. That was a nice wave. That was nice, like Adventure River in here. I have a problem too with every Easter, we get a new Jesus movie. Every Easter we get a new Jesus movie. Now I'm not against Jesus movies. There is some cool shit that you could learn from the stories of Christ. Not knocking that in any way, shape, or form. But it's the same fucking movie every year. It's the laziest reboot franchise ever. There should be a whole universe of Bible movies now. Where the fuck is my Guardians of the 5,000 year old galaxy? A couple of you've read, I really appreciate that. I think more of us should. I really should. Uh, I, uh, I'm gonna leave you with uh, a very special quote that I think of this time of the year, every time. I went to Catholic school for, for way too fucking long. And I just want you to remember the words of Jesus Christ this fall, this, this, this weekend. It's important. Get me the fuck off this cross! You'll see that's not in the King James Version. Okay, so, honey, uh, real quick, everybody give it up for my wife, Kara, for putting up with my ass. All right, a good friend of ours, Mo Alexander, is in the hospital. In fact, he's in ICU right now, and this is like serious, no bullshit. It ain't great. And comedians don't have insurance. If we did, it would have gone bankrupt by now, and the government would never have bailed us out. So what we're doing is, we're doing this video 
thing. My friend's filming it over here. We're gonna post it, and it's no training wheels. Everybody remember the ice bucket bullshit? Well, this actually matters. So, what you do is, you do a shot of tequila, and you tell, you, 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 you're gonna donate a certain amount of money. Now, if I can do a shot of tequila like my dad and my wife, and not flinch, she can put it away, dude. It's kind of fucked up. Why do you think she's with me? Uh, it ain't because of these looks. If you can do a shot and not wince, then you just have to donate what you do. If you do wince, you have to donate twice. So I am calling out Tommy Oler, Garrett Metz. Who else is in here? Kara McLean, Chris Moore, Jason Pulley, Gillian, Tommy. Everybody in this fucking room. Why not? Do the shot. No training wheels from Alexander. Now, you all get to see what a huge pussy I am. Now, the reason I had to do this challenge myself, nobody would challenge me, because I don't drink. I'm a drug guy. <laughs> if it was a cocaine challenge, shit, I'd have done it three times by now. <laughs> and it would have been a lot funnier set. So, Jesus Christ, why did I pour one like that? Here you go, Mo. Get out of the chair. Woo! I want to yak on you. Good call, dude. You're in a splash zone. Absolutely. <laughs> well done, buddy. Here you go. Friends, family, Memphis comedy. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Thank you. I've been Josh McClain. Don't be afraid of the dark. <laughs> Josh McClain, everybody.